What's going on guys? It has been a minute. Um, I took a little time off. Uh, I'm back, I'm better than ever. But just wanted to let y'all know that we were coming into this break from Street Outlaw No Prep Kings season five. Y'all have been following us the whole entire way. And uh, we've had a lot of failures from wrecking the car, catching on fire, to blowing stuff up, to, uh, to uh, getting on a slippery surface at the top end, putting it back into the wall, getting things fixed. And uh, we're, we are uh, just taking a break and it's been refreshing, but it's now time to get back into it. So we will be back on our schedule, posting videos, getting everything ready. As you can see, been inside the shop, got stuff all over the place. We are getting shelves up so we can get merch set over there and parts. We got parts washers right over there. We gotta get them set up. We got a compressor in the back uh, so we can have air going through the whole entire shop. Y'all seen the toolbox. I know a lot of people were dropping comments talking about Snap-on Toolbox, Harbor Freight Tools. I love the Harbor Freight Tools one because I got lifetime warranty. It's like a third of the price and uh, I'm not too good to use Harbor Freight uh, Tools. But as you can see, we sent the car over to Cameron Johnson Race Cars, got it all fixed. It is now down at the body shop, getting all the body work done and new paint color put on it. Nobody knows what color this is. I literally didn't tell nobody. Cameron don't know, my dad don't know, none of the guys know. Whenever I bring it out, I wanna surprise everyone. It's gonna be extremely loud. It's gonna have a big splash to it. I actually drop a pic right here real quick. It's in black and white. But, uh, it's gonna be amazing, it's gonna be awesome. So today's video, we are going to be doing a lot of stuff. We gotta build shelves for the merch trailer. That's right, we'll talk a little bit more about that when we get inside there, but these bumpy roads on the way home from Texas, they completely destroyed everything inside the merch trailer. Everything fell over, that's why you see all the merch and everything inside the shop. We have to go over to uh, the old shop because Uncle Mike brought his Chevy 2 over. I've been wanting to show you all that. A lot of people have been commenting and asking where that car has been. So uh, uh, gonna go ahead and show that a little bit. We also have a uh, stepchild and that is over there. We are going to be doing a little bit of work on that deal as well. And also I've been really working on myself. Uh, as you can see, um, you probably can't even see in the video, but I am down about 14 pounds right now. Uh, I, I've been going to the gym every day. I have uh, been starting to eat cleaner, eat right, and I'm past that point. Like I uh, said in one of my Facebook posts was, I usually go like four or five days and then I quit. So I'm doing good right now. I'm past the point where like I'm not as hungry no more. I don't think about food. I'm trying to keep myself busy. And I am starting to eat cleaner. I'm starting to get a uh, healthier hormone logics. They are on board with us with the car and they are on board with me. They are making sure everything is up to par, is up to right. I will have their link in the description down below. You can click their link, head over to their website, give them a call, tell them Justin Swanstrom sent you or Swan Gang and they will hook you up. There is nobody out there that is too good to not go get checked to see if you have any kind of issues going on. I went and got checked. I had a lot of issues and we are correcting those and we are getting to work better. But that's about it. We're going to jump into today's video. I hate that I took a couple weeks off, but I feel refreshed, I'm ready to go, and I'm glad to be back. As you can see, guys, it looks like a bomb went off in here. Uh, we'll drop a photo of what it looked like when we got back from Texas. But uh, we are going to be building some sturdier shelves, getting Hitchhiker Cheyenne all set up uh, so we can have merch at the track. Y'all have been killing it at the track and online by buying up all the merch, I think each and every one of y'all, but we're gonna build some badass shelves. We used to have a deal that was just on this side of the trailer and it went all the way up to the wall. Well, that means we were only able to sell out of this one side. So I was thinking about it and I think we're gonna change the shelves up a little bit and we are going to run it from the ground up to about you know waist level right there on both sides. Once we get over here, we'll run it all the way up the top of the wall. Once we get back here, we'll run all the way up the top of the wall, but then it doesn't matter what side of the trailer uh, we pit out of to be able to sell merch. We'll be able to open up this side or we'll be able to open up 
this side. So I think that's gonna be the better deal. I think we're gonna have more room. We are also gonna figure out a way to be able to secure that AC. Uh, gotta have AC, these tracks we've been to, it's been extremely hot. We're going to Tulsa next. I already heard it's gonna be over around 105 degrees. So we need to make sure we got AC in here for Cheyenne. Um, so we gotta be able to secure that as well. We got all the measurements that we need. Uh, me and dad are out here getting the measurements of what we, what we think we wanted to do. Um, we have crates that we're going to put in here, you know, kind of like milk crates, uh, which I mean, that's what they are. They are milk crates. So they are 13 inches wide each. Um, so we went ahead and pulled measurements from the front side to the rear. Uh, that gave us nine feet. We're going to go ahead and push it out another, you know, 13 inches, a little bit over 10 foot. So we can run it all the way to here and then we will run it up the wall. That will give us, I think it was uh, nine crates or something each and uh, ended up being a total. We're gonna stack them three tall. So that'll be 27 per side. So do 27 over here, 27 on this side. That's 54 uh, crates, not counting the crates that will go up the wall. You'll get like an extra four or five. So we're looking at around 65 crates all together. That'll be plenty enough to be able to stack the merch up inside the trailer. Uh, to be able to get it to the racetrack and sell it to y'all. So we are uh, steadily working. It's too hot out here. You can see it's sweating all over the place, but that's good because that means the diet's kicking in, doing good. I gotta go get my uh, my lunch here in a little bit, but uh, gonna head over to the shop so we can look at Uncle Mike's Chevy 2. Um, it's the first time I've seen it earlier this morning, so it's actually a pretty cool deal. We'll see what he's got going on, uh, figure out what the progress of it is. I know it's getting close. He's been wanting to, to, to get it done so he could take it to the track, and I can't wait to go to the track with him. Plus, we got Stepchild over there, uh, and uh, we got some cool things we're going to be doing with Cameron Johnson race cars on that car and that build, and it's something that we're going to be able to do with y'all. So. I know we took off a few weeks, but we're coming back stronger. We're gonna start uh, doing the more uh, daily stuff and showing y'all the ins and outs and the behind the scenes. And uh, so that's, that's gonna be a pretty cool deal for us. But let's head over to the shop real quick so we can see what Uncle Mike's got going on. Ah, you can see there's a lot of things going on over here at the shop right now. Um, we got the semi over here. Dad and Kyle have been knocking things out on that, you know, maintenance wise. Uh, new airbags, getting all the oil leaks fixed, getting the AC 100% up to par. So when we go back out on the road, that thing will be uh, doing what it needs to do. Um, let's talk a little bit about the motor because I have, I, I've said some stuff on it, but it got sent off to ProLine. Um, that we're waiting on the motor to get back. It's supposed to be back, uh, the coming up this week. We had to change all the internals inside. We didn't have to, I decided to do it. I finally got a break and I wanted to give myself the best opportunity, uh, going into the back half of season five, no prep Kings. So, uh, I talked with Eric Diller. I talked with ProLine and we made changes. It's it's going to cost right around roughly twenty thousand uh, dollars. I'm always straightforward with y'all, so I let y'all know exactly what we got going on. Um, but uh, yeah, it's about twenty grand. We're putting a, a different crank in it, different cam, different uh, pistons, different rods. We're changing the compression on the motor. We are going to go test. I plan on renting uh, Orlando for multiple days, three or four days each, um, and uh, I am going to wear it out, and I'm going to give myself the best opportunity going into this second half of uh, season five for no prep kings. Um, so that'll be coming back this week. Guys, we got to come up with a name for Uncle Mike's car. Uh, we have stepchild right here. We got prenup. Uh, we got side piece coming out soon. Um, we, we're going to add a couple more cars to the fleet, but we need to come up with a name for Uncle Mike Chevy 2. So uh, y'all drop it down in the comment section down below. What do you think we should name this thing? 
Uh, we'll let him talk a little bit more about it. He also actually brought us a nitrous bottle today. We are going to put a bottle inside the car, get it hooked up, and go see if we can do anything uh, pretty cool with this deal. So, the first time, been running on the motor here lately, uh, but uh, now we're gonna hook the bottle up, we're gonna go out, we're gonna play, have fun with it. It's tagged, it's insured. It is a full interior stock street car, stock looking, stock looking street car. So, uh, we got this going on, we got prenup getting almost done. We got side piece getting worked on every day. And then we got this deal that's inside here in the shop. Uh, this is Mike's 632 cubic inch nitrous applied Chevy 2. We need to come up with a name for it. He's done did all the work by himself. Um, he's going through right now. I don't even know what he's got going on. See the transmissions out of it. I'm fixing some. Trans, uh, the trans tunnel and some other stuff. What's the tabs for? Because I didn't like the way the trans tunnel was mounted, so I can read mount it. Ah, okay. So, just trying to finish up a few things before I put all the carbon back in it. There you go. So, we got to come up with a name for this thing. I don't even know. Man. We'll let them name it. They, they do pretty good with names. Shit, Bob. It's almost ready, though. It is. I mean, I would say a solid month. I don't even think it'll be that long. I'm trying to get testing with y'all and get your motor back. Well, motor comes back Tuesday. I know. <laughs> so I got about a week and a half. There you go. I'm going to light some shit up. It's not that far out, really. All the carbon's cut. I just got to put it in, clean it up, put it in. So. Hell yeah. Well, hurry up and get your sit down. Let's go get some lunch. I'm on diet. Me too, but I still gotta eat. Still gotta eat. I've been out there fucking drenching in sweat. It's hot yeah. as shit back there in that shop. It's hot up here. We need some AC. I know. The thing about hooking that one up that's sitting up there. Yeah. Just letting it blow. Just letting it blow right out the cracks and all. Hell yeah. We'll uh later on guys, we'll bring the car down and we'll show you the inside and show you the motor and everything. And uh what his uh I don't even know what's what is your future plans with this thing? What what's the what's the deal? All right. No time. I'm gonna try and run some of the no no prep tunes. The small out. tire no prep stuff. Yeah, that'd be cool. Travel around with you guys a little bit. Hell yeah. Not gonna go every race, but I'll go to quite a few. You there know, you go. Maybe once every other month or something. Because I'm not gonna be working on it like you guys are. If it tears up, you can come on to the house and sit till I get it fixed. That's it. Yeah. Not putting it together. I'm not. I'm not killing myself. Trust me. I don't. I don't recommend. I try not to kill myself either. The bolt. Bolt don't go all the way in. I don't know. It's a 65, dude. That's where. It, that's where the strip out method comes in. I'm just leaning it in there, and if not, I got a welder over here. A you, welder. You hit him with the ugga ugga. Yeah. Ugga ugga. <laughs> I Done. Was, I was lucky. I was trying to put some bullshit tabs together, and I, Ew. I got my parts truck over here. That's my last uh. I was trying to figure out if I can make that fit. Make the intake fit? Yeah. I don't know. This is my last little explosion that we had. It's crazy. I used to know where some injectors are when I need them. Yeah, I'm keeping all the stuff because. You know, we got a street car in that coming out. I can't go out there on the street with a screw blower. Why not? Dude, listen. I already have enough problem trying to see the tree. So now I got to watch a guy that runs back on and clicks a flashlight. It's just not going to be seeable. And then if they jump on me, so now, nah, so I'm either thinking about for the street car, either a pro charger or a nitrous application. I'm not doing the big old Dolly hood scoop. No hood scoop? Velocity stack. Velocity stack. We'll have to show y'all. We'll have to show y'all what the velocity stack is. But uh, yeah, when we get this thing down on the ground, we'll give it a little bit better uh, overlook and uh, look at everything and show y'all the ins and outs. Uh, it is close, it's almost done. And when he does that, we'll be out testing and, and having fun with it. The wishbone is not in the car right now, so that's why the car is all the way up against the tire. Um, Mike is working on getting the drive shaft clearance, getting everything done and ready. So whenever we do put the, or he puts the wishbone that back in, uh, we'll be able to get the rear end and everything set up in the car. We'll be out soon testing with it but uh i like it it's came together pretty nice uh i don't like that he painted the cage all white uh it's dirty 
Oh, you put the you put the emblems on. Yeah. Nova SS. So, got a lot of things going on, guys. 